Sup guys, uh, He King here bringing you a manga review on this week's uh, One Piece chapter 1051. So yeah, uh, it looks like the uh, the raid is over. We we Kaido's done. He's done. Big Bomb is done. Um, there was a lot of uh, uh, speculation as to what's gonna happen with them, but. Uh, it, look, it, look, it looks like Kaido and Big Mom are done now. I, I'm still sure for certain that we're going to get Big Mom's overall story arc wrapped up in Elbaf, whether that's next or not. But as for Kaido, I don't know what's going to happen with him. I don't know where his story is going to lead. All I know is that these guys were inside a freaking crevice. Uh, and someone pointed out that since they use volcanic uh, elements to sort of create the sea stones and that it could be p possible that the that they then two are now trapped in there and they wouldn't be able to use their devil fruit abilities regardless so yeah they would they would basically be trapped but since the volcano exploded they would have probably flown out of it and you know the result would be that they would end up falling into the ocean so again if they fall into the ocean their devil fruit would be able to work they would be trapped in there so yeah they would be pretty screwed basically uh, similar to what happened to Jack after the events of Zhao. Um, and then, of course, we still have the uh, Marines uh, to deal with the outside Wano at the moment. And you got Zushina there. So did she attack uh, the Marines? Did she block it off? Don't know what's going on there. But uh, we definitely need to get a conclusion to those overall elements that have been set up. But, yeah, starting with uh, the chapter, the Shogun of Wano, Wano sorry, Kozoki Mononosuke. And we get the cover page, which is of the uh, Jerma siblings walking away with the explosion in the background. So, yes, it was it was Raiju and, uh, what's his name, rescuing their two brothers. So, yeah, uh, Jerma 66, Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 13, Jerma Escapes. So, yeah, that's that then. These guys are getting away. I'm assuming it's going to end with them uh, confronting their dad judge and then uh whatever happens wherever they go off next i'm assuming but uh, yeah uh it does say cold-blooded voyage though so one, one would assume the whole voyage thing that there's going to be more to this uh to the story to this cover page so maybe we're going to actually see a voyage perhaps but uh yeah mo mo moving on um we cut to the we cut to where we left off with uh, momonosuke arriving and transforming we still haven't seen his new look yet um uh, and we see the citizens running away. Wait, there is no need to flee. What? It seems that the dragon really wasn't Kaido. Really? So there are two dragons? Mysterious figures in the flower capital. Something is happening in front of the castle. How can Komorosaki-sama be here? Boss I I Kiyoshiru, what in the world is going on? And uh, yeah, from the background of the smoke, we see Kinemon appearing first. Uh, you two sure have made a name for yourselves. Now I wonder whether the rest of us will still be recognizable to them. And yep, the citizen's freaking out because there's Kinemon doing these bows like, yeah, <laughs> doing his best, doing his best. I don't know, is that, we won't say that's like the Naruto pose like that we first, no, that's the Jiraiya pose actually. That's the Jiraiya pose, mate. That's Jiraiya there, right there, man. Like, K K Kinemon Dono, but how? I thought he burned with Oda Castle that day, you know, and uh, yeah, you got the rest of the scabs, scarabs, if you will, coming through, and uh, and uh, but he's in front of our eyes. Is this a dream? Have we passed on to the next life? But I don't remember us dying. So yeah, people are getting very confused now at this point. Are they in hell? Are they in heaven? What's going on? And uh, yeah, the realization is starting to sink in now. It doesn't matter if this is reality or a fantasy. Either way, I think we're about to see something mo monumental. Yeah, quick, fetch a light scroll snail. We have to get the word out to the rest of Wado. And you've, yeah, you've got all the scarabs, all the surviving scarabs at least coming in. Kawatsu, you know, uh, uh, Dog Duke, uh, a uh, freaking uh, what's his name? Right, right, Rizo, you know, Hori, and and uh, yeah, you've got uh, Nikogo, Niko Mamushi coming in with, I believe, uh, is it is it Kiko? I think I'm not too sure. She's hanging onto his arm, and all the citizens are gathering now, and they're looking at, they're looking at all the scarabs having walked out now at this point. No doubt about it. It's the red scarabs. They've been assumed dead for 20 years. Toki Summer's prophecy came true. And people, yeah, they're crying. They're, they're like, holy crap. And now we're cut to the various parts of Wano Country. We got Ringo first. You know, like a big scream has basically been put up. And everyone is seeing this live footage now. Seems something is happening in the capital. Then we're cutting to Hakumai. Uh, is this about the earthquake? And then we're going to Kiba. Like, I thought the village would shake apart. And then we're cutting to Akuri, uh, head to Bokuru Town, they're broadcasting something from the capital. And then we're going to Yuda, you know, I think this is the mining area, right? Uh, I think this is where some of the beast pirates that are, this isn't the time to just stand around and watch. And now we're cutting to Ibuzu Town, ha <laughs> ha you know, I think that's where all the people who smile, I think, are. 
could be wrong there. And we're coming back to the Onigashima outside Onigashima and outside the flower capital basically. What's all the fuss about? It's a light scroll, sn a snail transmission from the flower capital. And now we're getting Yamato meeting all the straw, straw, straw hat crew. Yeah, a bit of violence going on here. You've got, you know, you've got Frankie and Brooks sort of uh, in, a, in, a, in a sort of attack uh, position. You've got Sanji running in. Uh, and Nami's there looking at this stuff too with Atama. Uh, what do you mean you're kind of son? So this war isn't over yet? Hold on, I'm not your enemy. Like, in fact, I've been following your exploits in the news for ages. And by the way, I knew your crew was made up of a lot of weird looking people. But meeting you all in the flesh is still quite a shock. Uh, you'll want to talk with those hordes. And Sanji just running going, Kaido's, like, Kaido's, like, yeah, yeah. He's going to be very confused because it's like, what do you mean you're a son? You look, you're a woman, right? And now we're getting this panel of Yamato on all of glory. Just like, anyway, I'll be sailing with you from now on. I go by Kazuki Oda, but you can call me Yamato. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, I think this pretty much confirms that Yamato's going to be joining the crew at this point. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, people kept doubting this, but it's like, no, she wants to leave. She wants to explore the world. It makes sense. Uh, and then you got all that. You, now we're getting the reaction to the crew that are like, okay, so you got Nami and Usopp just like, <laughs> and then you got uh, Frankie like, you're joining our crew. I like, just disbelieve. Brooke's like, yo, ho, I approve. Like, yeah, he's going for it. And, uh, and then Sanji's just like, with the little hearts going on there, not as much as me, so... And then Robin just like sitting down on the rubble, like, you know, just a chill self, ha, <laughs> how amusing. And then Jubei is the only one who's like, we'll need to get confirmation from the captain before I'll be convinced. And Yamato's like, fair enough. Like, and I think, I think, I think Luffy will let her join. Because I think, I think he's old to death at this point. She did hold off Kaido for a decent bit before Luffy came back to continue the fight. So, you know, that debt has to be repaid. Uh, Chopper is treating, uh, he's treating Zoro, it looks like he's treating Zoro and Luffy at the same time. So Luffy is going to be, is, so is Luffy going to be okay? His battle was so intense and that form of ease. And then she's, she notices that the beast pirates that were there with her, uh, that she stopped from attacking the group, they're running away. And it's like, hey, who said you could run off? It's like, oh, young master, please. We don't want to be servants like the others. So before I continue on, yeah, so it's nice that we're getting the reaction here, and it's nice that uh, Yamato officially says she wants to join. But there's also the fact that uh, she's saying that she goes by Kozuki Oda, but she tells the crew that they can call her Yamato. Okay. So a lot of people are speculating that Luffy's not going to let her join for the simple fact that she ref she's referring to herself as this dead person, and that uh, he's, there's probably going to be this sort of argument where he's going to be like, "Yo, you, you're not going to be able to join." And the reason I'm not letting you join is because you keep referring to yourself as this person who's no longer alive. This this was that person. You're not that person. You, if you want to join, you need to accept who you are, and that's Yamato. But the fact she, the fact that she's pretty much saying you can, but you can call me Yamato, makes me think that Luffy's just going to accept her regardless. He's going to be like, you want to be, you want to go by Kozuki Oda, fine. That's that's your that's your thing. But like you said, you said we can call you Yamato. I'm going to call you Yamato. Everyone's going to call you Yamato. So and maybe it's going to be one of those things in the story where as it's going, maybe maybe she's going to level out a bit and realize, yo. I am Yamato and that maybe that's going to be her character arc going forward perhaps you know and learning to be herself and not be ashamed of where she came from and who she is you know there's there's always that concept of carrying one's will and in this case you could make the argument she wants to carry Oda's will if you will uh Oden's will but at, at that point it's also going to come to a point where she has to realize she's her own person perhaps but uh yeah we'll have to wait and see what happens I'm curious to see what Luffy's reaction is going to be like like is he going to I'm sure he is I'm sure he is because to have this in there and then and then uh and then and then suddenly backtrack on it going oh, Luffy like going nah you're not joining that would be kind of ridiculous after all the build up and development we've had with Yamato throughout this and throughout this arc so no it just makes sense for her to join really at this point uh, so yeah, coming back to where we left off, we see we see the uh, the beast pirates running away. We got some of the beast pirates there already. The ones that took the uh, I don't know what it was from Tama that wish that she uses to control them. And Jubei's like, well, this one doesn't seem like an enemy at any rate. And then you've got Yamato like, quick riding and stay put. And uh, yeah, Usopp's like, you know, he's talking to Tama. That reminds me, what's going to happen to these guys? And Tama, re you know, or, or Tama replies, my jutsu always wears off when the moon's shape comes back around. So it only lasts a month. So we get a confirmation that the ability she uses to take control of, of, of these people, it only lasts a month. So, you know, one has to be curious how long it's been between that point when she gave gave it to that uh, horse lady to, to now. Uh, and yeah, we get this little flashback to when she was like, Given it to animals. Uh, the animals usually go back to normal afterwards, but some stay tamed. I'm sure they get to choose what they like best. 
And then you've got, I think, Speed or whatever her name was coming in and grabbing Tama and just hugging and going, Master, I want to stay by your side. I'm happy like this. That makes me so glad, uh, Horsella chan. I'd love it if you stay with me, but not as my servant. I'd rather think of you as a mother. So that's. Well, wow, that's, a, that's a thing to say from Otama. Like, Nami's shocked by this. Not Otama is happy. And even uh, what's it, her speed is just, like, taken aback by that. But I'm very curious what's going to happen. Like, uh, the Beast Pirates that got controlled, are they going to be chill? Are they wanting to stay? Are they going to stay? Or is that mentality of, like, you know, um, do I want to continue being a servant of Kaido? Or do I want to stay and, and be with Otama who treats me nice, like a human being, if you will? So cut into the scream of the of the of the straw hats watching the scream. Look, Komorosaki and Kin and everyone else they're kneeling and uh yeah, who is that? So at this point we still haven't seen Momonoski's form, obviously. Uh and now we're getting that big moment where we will. We see the we see the scarabs all kneel down. Now some some members are obviously missing. Obviously one I think one of them was injured alongside Zoro, so they're getting treatment. Uh I don't know if it was Jizu or Kiku, I think, uh, one of them. Um, uh, Ashura is not there. Uh, we last time we saw him, he got hit, injured, stabbed. So he might, he might potentially be dead. Don't know. Uh, and obviously, what's his name? Uh, the traitor, Conjuru. So, so yeah. Continuing on, it has been twenty long years since my father died. Father, don't tell me you have all done exceptionally well to have survived this protracted winter. The freedoms of the Fire Festival shall not end tonight. Starting tomorrow, all of you will be able to live as you wish. What? But Orochi will. You may drink as much as you please. You will no longer be charged for clean water. The toxic factories that have ravaged our land will be abolished. Slavery will cease to exist in Wano from this day forward. And Otama not re like starting to realize, hold on a second, this is Momokun? You know, four more, four, and now we're getting a kind of, we're getting a flashback to Mom, you know, to, to Otama, uh, with a little lion, a pet there, friend, uh, looking up at a factory and all the people leaving, and we get this, uh, saying, four more factory workers die today, it may be our turn to go tomorrow, and then we get these people talking in the background, uh, well, I think Otama is like outside or listening from a window, you know, uh, who should tell Otama? She has to know. And then we get Otama, little young Otama crying. Otama-chan, this will be difficult to hear, but your father and mother are. And then we see Otama outside the factory by a grave, two graves, you know, posts. Daddy, mommy, please rest easy. I'm going to be okay. Hats for sale. Get your hats for sale. So she's trying to sell hats for a little dog. Does anybody need a hat woven hat? Does anybody need a hand woven hat? Sorry, no money to spare. Woven hats for sale. Sorry, Kamachio, no one bought any today. Yeah. And then we get, I think this is the first time that Otama meets the Tengu. And he comes in and he's like, one hat please. Wow, you're a Tengu. You're an orphan, I take it. Please do not give in. It will only be a few more years. This character has to be important, right? I mean, the fact that we don't even see his face throughout this whole time. It has to be a character that we know, maybe from flashbacks perhaps. Not sure, but uh, soon the, the Kazuki clan's mighty warriors will make the return. When that day comes, we'll finally be rid of those domenic, do, 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 demonic oni oni. They will no longer poison this land. Kozuki, is that really true? Then I'll keep going. I'll be okay. So yeah, the Tengu guy basically saved her life essentially and gave her hope. So, and as the flashback ends, we see her rushing into Nami's arms and you know crying, just like Otama, Otama, and she's. And Nami, she's realizing what's going on. She's smiling. You know, don't celebrate like this is special, Tama. By the time we leave this country, and she's thinking back to the words that Luffy first told her. By the time we leave this country, it'll be a place where you can eat as much as you want every single day. So yeah, Luffy keeping his promise there. Orochi's, and now we're cutting back to Momonosuke continuing with the speech. Uh, Orochi's tyrannical regime and the menace of Kaido are gone for good. I met powerful and passionate friends on my voyage, and together our ninja pirate mink samurai alliance raided Onigashima. Guys, think back to that moment. It's so crazy to think back that, like, like not even four years ago, this was like six, seven years ago, that we got that moment in Zhao where, where they formed that bloody alliance. And now look at it. So many years later, we're here in this moment. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy, like, think back to that moment, guys. Think all the way back to that moment, and now we're here. 
like when that alliance was made. That's insane. How long has it been? Like, wow, wow. It's it really is a monumental moment, really. Kaido, Orochi, and we get this panel now of of from the back of Momonosuke, and he's got the sword in his hand, and he's raising it in the air, and you've got the scarabs just kneeling down, and the crowd in the front or in the back watching. Kaido, Orochi, and the Beast Pirates, the monsters that have kept you living in fear, have all been vanquished. And it's like, what? Everyone's like, what? Is he serious? They were beaten? That god awful Orochi is gone. And, and uh, Kid, we see a panel of Kid, and he seems a bit pissed off, like confused, like, our alliance. And we're cutting to everyone celebrating. Yeah, we're cutting to Law. He's just very quiet. You've got Beppo behind him. What does this mean? Does this mean their alliance is over now? Like, uh, again, that's another thing. It's crazy to think back to Punk Hazard when Luffy and Law first, like, proper met. Like, when they reunited and they met and they made that alliance. Like, it's crazy. We're, we're seeing a panel of Carrot crying. We will never forget the heroes who paved the way to make this possible. And then we're seeing someone uh, put his hand on Yazoo's daughter. She's smiling. We see Kinemon and he's like kneeling and, and, and now that now the, now the speech has sort of ended, uh, Momonosuke is a bit stuck because he doesn't know what to say. He's like, peace, peace, peace. Kinemon, what, now what? I, I'm not sure what to say next. And uh, he's trembling as well. And, 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 and Kinemon's just thinking, as they say, fake it till you make it. Like, fake it till you make it, right? And, and uh, yeah, Momonosuke, we see Momonosuke's chin. He's thinking back to what Luffy told him. What are you, Momo? What are you, Momo? Just a figurehead? Does anything in the world still seem scary to you? My. And now he's shouting out. My name was given to me by my father. It means second to none. I swear to live up to that by restoring this country's barren lands to the paradise they once were. People just crying, like, you know, in doubt. But I'll need you, to, but I'll need you to lend me your strength. I have transcended the last 20 years to save this land from this moment on and we get in the shot of, of Momonosuke and he's a chad guys I'm telling you he doesn't look like his dad okay like he looks he, he doesn't look weird or anything he looks cool he looks cool he's got that freaking long hair just dangling down like sword like going back into the the, the seat the sheaf if you will just he looks he looks freaking awesome and you know, also one has to wonder where he got the freaking clothes as well to wear, like <laughs> to fit, to fit, to fit him right now. But uh, this is insane. Like, uh, Wano will be led by me, Kazuki Momonosuke. And you've got, yeah, you've got, you've got Nikomushi just crying. You've got the, you've got all the scarabs crying. You've got Koromasaki crying. Like they can't believe it. Like after all these years, they're finally here. They're in this moment. And mother, I will keep my promise. And father, everyone's cheering. Everyone's crying. I will continue along the path you started, and yeah, like Momonosuke Sama, Sanji lighting a cigar, uh, Yamato cheering alongside Frankie in the back, uh, Nami hugging Otama, Momonosuke just being very serious, that stern look face like he is determined, the true Shogun has returned, my deepest apologies for the delay, Momonosuke Sama. And then we're cutting to, yeah, we're, just, we're getting like a, the, 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 if you will, the narration box now. Sakura pedals dance in a future sky where warriors can finally rest their blades. A man, eight years of age, surveys their progress as they drift in the night air of the renowned, renowned land of samurai. He may lack physical strength. I mean, he does lack physical You know, people are going to say, what, he's a dragon. What, what, he doesn't lack physical strength. As a dragon, he's probably got a lot of strength. But as, as himself, as a hu in his humanoid form... He's probably not very strong, so he's gonna have to train. And uh, yeah, we see Komorosaki, she's crying, she's like trying to hold it in, like as she's crying, and she turns and she hugs Momonosuke, but he compensates with his devotion to duty and boundless compassion. And yeah, the, 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 the scarabs they get up now, and Momonosuke has turned and he's walking away, and they're walking with him. This man will one day be known far and wide as one of the as one of Mono's greatest leaders. He, 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 we have just borne witness to the birth of the great shogun, Kazuki Momonosuke. Our young hero stands tall. So, yeah, what a chapter, man. What a chapter. It feels like a big completion. I mean, this has been, what, 10 years? 10 years? I mean, when did Pog has it start? Whenever Pog has it started, and we got introduced to Momonosuke, and as the story went on, and we got the revelation that he's the freaking, you know, he's the freaking son of the... He's basically a prince, essentially. Yeah, it's been a crazy bloody ride, but uh, you, you also have to remember, this has been Momonosuke's story from that point on as well. 
like this is his story we've been with this character for a long time you know as a child and now him having to grow and learn and getting luffy's help in a, in a way a story that started all those years ago has finally reached its fruition its its completion it is done it is done after all these years we finally reached the end of this long very long story arc that started all the way back in punk hazard to dress rosa to freaking uh, Zhao, uh, to freaking Layer Cake Island, to to Wano, like it's been, it's been wow, it's been a journey. And as much as this was, uh, 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 you know, uh, about the Straw Hats coming in and helping and winning, this was much more about the samurai, and Mo and Momo, and them, you know, reuniting and working together to take back what is theirs and defeating Kaido and Orochi, and they did that. It is done. It is complete. And the narration even telling us he's going to be a great leader. He's going to be known as the great leader. We know. So therefore, we already have a good confirmation here that this... This is a good confirmation from the narration itself. This is over. This is over. For any one of us that had any doubts that Kaido was going to come back... I was pretty sure. I was I was like, Kaido's going to come back. We're going to get a final fight of some sort with him and Luffy. Or someone else, perhaps, joining in. Like, uh, it can't just end like... But it did. It did end like that. It did end like that. And now we're ending it like this, and that's what it's about. It's about Momo's character development. It's about Momo's arc coming about coming to an end. It's about the samurai fulfilling their promises to him and to Oda and to the citizens. And that's it. This is it. The, the this arc, while it's still going to go on, obviously because we're still going to get the epilogue uh, arcs now, uh, chapters, if you will. The overall journey itself has come to an end. It's a case of now, what's going to happen now? Because now we got a whole bunch of story arcs we need to go through that we need to conclude. We still need to get the road plan. If we still need to see what's going to happen with the Marines outside Wano, what's going to happen with Zushina? What did uh, uh, you know Momonosuke learn from Zushina? Is he going to explain it to them? Uh, is Yamato going to join, etc., etc.? Which I think is pretty much yeah, is, is a confirmation. She, she is one hundred percent going to join, but there's probably going to be something, some sort of challenge, maybe a confirmation from Luffy himself that has to happen. Still, this arc is not over per se. It's still going to be going on. But the overall fight, the battle, it is done. And now it's just a case of sitting down, relaxing, and getting all the uh, future plot developments set in and figuring out where things go on from here. But overall, what a good chapter. What a good sort of emotional, happy chapter. And I think it's just going to get more emotional from here on now. Like... Yeah, uh, like other oh, strides gonna be chilling in Wano for a good few days, maybe weeks, enough to set to bring everything back in order, perhaps. Because these guys are all the way up on the top. Do you know what I mean like they're all above and above a waterfall, and Zushina is guarding that. Is guarding that. I'm assuming waterfall from stopping from any of the Marines coming up. So these guys can probably chill there for a good while while they regain their energy, their strength, and learn all the necessary story key points that they need to learn to move on to wherever they have to go next. So yeah, I think we're gonna be in Wano for a bit longer guys a bit longer but uh it's gonna be i think fun now at this point emotional and fun overall great chapter can't wait to see what happens next and remember guys as always to like and subscribe and i shall see you when i shall see you take care and bye